been responding to some comments made by former President John Mahama in Cape Coast yesterday. This is what former President Mahama said. I think that when a new government comes into power, you should give it a honeymoon so that it can settle in, you know. But unfortunately, it looks like MPP is quickling away its honeymoon period with the mistakes that it is doing. Otherwise, 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 how can you launch a Google GPS system that is freely available on our mobile phones? I say it's a national addressing system, you know, and it's, a, it's, it's such a pity, you know, why would you embarrass the president so much? You go and take a whole president and bring him to launch a system that is essentially 419, you know, and when you talk about accountability, this is where uh, the president should show that he's serious about corruption. Somebody must account for 15 million Ghana CDs giving away free of charge. When I was in office, there was a bus branding incident, 3.6 million Ghana CDs. A minister of state resigned because of 3.6 million CDs. In power, in, in, when you come into office and you want to cover up, you can cover up. When things happen, you just refuse to investigate them. The toughness of the fight against corruption is that you're able to take action against your own people. And that is what we did when we were in office. Here, the MPP seems unable to take, the president seems unable to take firm action in, in, in anything. Taking action on your own people, former President John Mahama there. One of the things also that the uh, Vice President, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, said is that the former president is clueless about the GPS system, which is why he says that he thinks that he needs some, a bit more uh, education. I have in the studio with me Mutala Mohammed, who's a former, information min uh, former Deputy Information Minister. He joins me now. You're welcome. Thank you. Where have you been? I've been around. Oh. I have been around under the mess created by this government. Oh, already? And I know opposition, of course. I mean, don't you know we are in I a mess? I don't expect you to say any less. You are in opposition. Well, the, the only person who thinks we are not in a mess is the person who lives in Ghana and doesn't know there is a TV station called Joy TV. Ah, I see. Everybody knows we are in a mess. Well, you say so. So, you heard the former president uh, yesterday. Were you in Cape Coast yourself? No, I wasn't there. You weren't. No, but I you heard the comments that he makes about, yeah. uh, you know, that he tries to do the um, animal farm analogy, etc. First of all, before you even go into that politics bit, let's, let's look at the comments about government going to prosecute all the state agencies that we listed today, JIDA, or officials who were, who were there, JIDA, SADA, uh, those who were in charge of the um, runway, Kumasi uh, Airport runway, the bus reconstruction, the bus branding, etc. What, what are your thoughts on It's that? amazing that you have a government who is in power, who won elections out of lies and propaganda, yet they still do propaganda with even prosecution. Constitutional, the only body that has the prosecutorial powers to prosecute anybody who engages in a wrongdoing is the Minister of Justice and Attorney General. We live in a country where a government that is led by a lawyer with outstanding repute and indicated that I can't prosecute people until I have what they call a special prosecutor. Are they serious? By the way, all the things they claim they are going to do, if you take JIDA for instance, mm -hmm. the NDC government started prosecution. So perhaps. After a lot of public so outcry. Perhaps it doesn't matter whether a lot of public outcry Yeah, I mean, if you not. know the right thing and I'm you didn't that, do it, no, and I'm you waited that it for everybody it, to it, shout it, on you before you well, do Well, there have been a lot of public outcry about multi-TV and some of your journalists, what they engage in. Must you go ahead and prosecute? I don't you know what they engage in. Chinchenga, you, engage you don't know. I think that there should be evidences and the basis on which a serious government would go and prosecute people. I am saying that on the issue of the NYEP, that is the JIDA, yeah. It, it is not something that they are starting. So if there is anybody who is clueless, it's Dr. Baumia. He is not even aware that prosecution on, on that particular issue started under the NDC government. If we, take, if we take another issue which has to do with SADA, the SADA issue is not something that is going to be started by this. It was something that the NDC government started. Or something that Joyne is investigated. Oh, well, you, you can take the credit. I don't have any problem. But let, no, me, point, really but let me point out. Credit. Let me point out on your medium. It didn't take any outstanding journalistic work to talk about what happened at SADA. I was a member of the finance committee, and you can check from the hands up, some of us raised the issues about SADA. 
find out from Dr. Okutosai, find out from Afinio Markins. It didn't take NPP to raise the issues. Some of us, we raised the issues about some of the things that happened in Sada that we are uncomfortable with. But I won't be distracted. Let me just make the point. We have started prosecuting the issue of Woyomi. It is not this government that is going to start the prosecution. The government was the prosecution, not what, what has started it. I'm saying that the quite... prosecution was started by the NDC government. That is a fact. Why did you stop at some point? We didn't stop. Yeah, but I mean... You, you, the prosecution you... is a process. It's not an event. We never stopped the prosecution. As a matter of fact, decisions. And it was the then Minister for Justice and Attorney General who went to court and in, indeed got certain procedures in place as to how those monies could be paid. But so in the actual fact, if you started it and the, uh, the government that took over from you is continuing, there's nothing wrong with so that. So you don't say that you are going to prosecute. What I'm saying is that Dr. Baumia is absolutely clueless. He is not even aware that prosecution on William started under ND NDC. He is not even aware that my former boss, Abu Gapele and co, are being prosecuted and the prosecution started under the NDC. Now, if this is not clueless, what could be clueless? So that is the point. On the issue of the bus branding, mm -hmm. as a matter of fact, we indicated that the monies were paid. If we think that the monies were, were not paid, you are now in charge. Proper handing over was done. Go ahead and, and find out. But I would want you to find out from Dr. Baumia and the MPP, why is it that they are no longer making noise about the circle interchange? He made a lot of noise about it. Why is it that they are no longer making noise about the Kaswa interchange? Find out from Dr. Baumi and what he knows about those projects. I am saying that if you have evidence to prosecute people, go ahead and prosecute. What simply they are doing is what they call prosecution in the realm of propaganda. Now, if I want to prosecute you because I have evidence, go ahead. You remember, when His Excellency the President had his symbolic media encounter, what did he tell why you do people? You, why, do you, why do you always have to find fault with anything that are Because there are faults. No, to because do. there are faults to be found. What, symbolic well, media have I had engagement? It, I, I'll, I'll tell you why. I'll, I'll tell you why. Please. His Excellency the President on that day admitted that a lot of the allegations that people make, you investigate it and you realize that there isn't anything to it. The president said it. I didn't force those words through his mouth. Now, what I'm saying is that he was the leader of the vanguard of those propaganda and allegations that were made. You go to court with two things. One, you go to court with evidence, and the evidence will be supported by law. Now, if the president himself admitted that a lot of the allegations that people make, you get into those allegations, and you realize that there is nothing at all about it. We were told in this country that the president spent, the former administration, spent over bloated, if you like, the rich hospital. Now, we don't know how much is, 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 is being sp spent on it. The, the Minister of Health didn't even see anything wrong with changing even the, the, the placard and emboldening his name. Now, we sit here today. The President and the Vice President told the people of this country that we spent 10 million Ghana cities in printing diaries. I don't know whether multimedia and Joy wouldn't want to find out how much was spent in printing the 2017 diaries. These are the questions. So we agree that every government must prosecute people who engage in wrong. But can I find out from Dr. Baumia? Are they interested in, in investigating the 2.25 billion fraudulent and dubious bond in which we still do not know who purchased the 5%? Are they interested in, in prosecuting and investigating f to find out what happened at BOSS? Are they interested in finding out from us, and I'll find out from Joy, that the Minister for Agri told us that they spent over 16 million Ghana cities fighting so-called army worm infestation. And out of it, an outrageous 8.4 million was spent in what they call media sensitization. The last time I checked, I watch your TV, your station all the time. You didn't run a single advert on that, not a single media house. Either print, electronic, indeed ran a, any sensitization adverse. The Minister for Agri told us that they did that. Now we sit here today. You have spent over $2 million in buying a, a Google app. Now I listened to Dr. Baumia, and frankly speaking, I empathize with him. He's not still not finding the transition between a running mate and a vice president. As a matter of fact, he's an apology of a vice president. Really? And he has demonstrated that time and again. You remember? No, he, but, what, he claimed, what, I mean, and I'll tell you, you why. You, but you can't, you can't just make um, um, disparaging comments. No, it's not disparaging. I mean, you he sees an apology wrong. of a vice president. Absolutely. He's not able to see the transition between a vice president and a running mate. This same person told us that the GPS system that they were doing, that it would be more, more No, by the explanation it gives, you see, what, what the former president said is that, how are we spending $2.5 million on an app? 
Now, the president, the vice president, is saying that this is, is not just an app; it is a system. It is an uh, it's an the address, vice digital address the system. The vice, I listen to yours. I li look. I'm an ad ardent adher. Uh, I mean, listener to Joy. I must be very honest, and I, I say this all the time. I listen to Joy. He couldn't provide a a deep of, of evidence. He couldn't even explain what we simply saying are the very things that he re, he reintroduced. We are saying that all the features he's talking about are on Google Map. But so, the Google Map, for example, look, he says that it will not confirm an address. Not confirm. So the not, Google Map cannot say that uh, Mutala Muhammad lives here. If you put in an address, the Google Map cannot. Do you know the palpable lie he even told on that? He said that all landed properties in Ghana go, and I challenge you to test it live on your program, all landed. But you know why? He has no shame in lying through his tapes. Now, when they launched this, he told us, that, oh, this thing will be more sophisticated than that of America, than that of Europe. Now, we want to find out, how was the contract given? Was it a sole sourcing? Was it competitive, a restrictive tendering? If it was restrictive tendering, there are conditions by which restrictive ten tendering can be done. We want to find out from the vice president. This is the vice president when he was a running mate, he claimed he asked 140 questions. When you ask him one simple question, he's not only condescending, he's simply insulting. Now, he is, he is the paragon of knowledge. He knows everything. He wants to school people. I think the very person he must school is his keeping of records. When we ask him about the dubious 2.25 do billion that the two, do you bond, think, you know what he told us? Do you think, you think that the national digital address system is a total sham? No, not only a sham. It is the biggest scam. It is the biggest fraud ever unleashed on the people of this country by this government. And I'm saying that But they're that basically building on the address building, system building that you started, on, oh, that your administration building, started. But, but we never spent a dime. Yes, but you were they just... Are, by, the way, were they are not building, by the way, they are not building on it. Remember that what we started was not what is being done today. What they have done is that they have connived into another private entity, as they have consistently done. And I can give you a litany of examples. Now, if you are saying that you will prosecute people, you don't announce you prosecute people. Go ahead and prosecute. Now, but What's now your problem are, with the announcement? We have no pro Why? It's propaganda. Prosecutions are not done on radio or TV. Prosecutions are done in the court of competent jurisdiction. And I am saying that if you are prosecuting, go ahead. Prosecution must not also be limited to what has been done. And I have said, Tamani, I said in that government, I am not corrupt. I have never been, and I will never be. I am more incorruptible than the president and the vice president. We have been told by leading members of this government that the seat of government is the citadel of corruption. We have been told been that... Been told by who? Why? A plus is the... By the way, he's been given a contract. A member of parliament... Which contract? Oh, oh why? He's lifting oil at Bost. A, oh, member, a member of well, parliament, well, Canada, he's... Japan. They said that you need to pay a gate fee before you see the president. You even when he says evidence. Christ... You could not provide evidence to why? that effect. Why? By the way... We were told. It was we were when the told, police invited We were told by a Cook report. Now you have a CID boss who is captured on, on tape, covering up corruption. They and said what, the, they said the, on, they said the voice is dropped. Please, please, and please. The, and the, but and they the told CID us they were going to investigate. Oh, by the insane. way, the CID themselves told us through your medium, which I listen so much, that they were going to investigate it. So what it means is that the woman was under investigation. Okay. She was a so subject, and you know why? What together. the president did is that he gave us more slap, that if a woman is under investigation for corruption cover-up, I am going to promote that woman. What we experience in Ghana is government of family and friends and in-laws. Okay. You just need to have... Of, okay. You just need to have... Some names attach your names. Oforeata, once Oforeata attach your name, you no, give but that, that can be a problem. I can give you that a can be. Be a Why can't it be? But just, but, but just because... No, why can't it be? But, but, but that's not the point. That's I will no, tell no, no, you... No, that, that's that, that, why wouldn't that? Let's not digress. Let's not digress. Ah, why let's digress? Let's Isn't that you're uncomfortable issue? with that? I am certainly not uncomfortable. No, but you see, we have a focus. When we when we called you... I thought we were looking at allegations of corruption and prosecution. No, I am listening to you telling me about other allegations. or telling me to investigate it. Telling me, yes, telling yeah. me about other allegations, which, of course, ought to be investigated. But the focus, you know, of course, yeah. the reason we called you was for, for us to hear you speak on, you know, the conversation or, if you like, the back and forth going on between the former president and uh, uh, the response that he's gotten from the vice president at the moment. Have you used the app yourself? 
Have you used the uh, the digital address? Why must I app? use it when I can easily use? Have you downloaded it? Oh, why would I when I can easily do that on? on so if on you Google? haven't downloaded, have I have downloaded gone it, through. How it. do you know? I have gone through it. I don't necessarily on someone else's phone. No, I don't necessarily need to go to download it. I don't necessarily. There are lots of apps you can go through without necessarily downloading. I have gone through, and I just realized that is the but biggest. But if you part. don't go through it, you wouldn't know how it works. I have works. gone through. You will just be following the chorus of the of your party that says this is fraud and chorus of my party. Yes, I'm saying that. I have gone through it, and I realize that there is no any difference between that than what is already existing in my phone. I have a Google map, and I have gone through it, and I realize that this is the biggest fraud that this government is perpetrating on the people of this country. And I'm saying that what we experience in Ghana today is not just corruption. It's outright daylight robbery. And I'm, I can tell you that His Excellency the President is accomplice in those, in those acts. And I'll give you the reasons. This is the president who told us that he was coming to protect the public purse. Didn't he tell us that? This is the president who indeed... What evidence do you have that he's not doing so? The seat of the president itself, we have been told that it is, it is first... Someone's allegation. No, we why? don't have any why? evidence Every for that. Every of allegation... We don't have any why? evidence I, Why? That. You must investigate to establish whether indeed the allegation is true or not. We have been told we have two deputy chiefs of staff. Sorry, two deputy chiefs of staff. We have been told by okay, this... Okay, you, by you this, wanted to use the word thieves of staff? Oh, but... Oh, can't I slip? Oh, so it's a slip of tongue. Yeah, deputy I chiefs see. of staff. But I wanted to say two deputy chiefs of staff. Okay. I'm saying that we have that. We live in a country where you do not know what will happen to you the next day. You don't know, as I see today. Because the government itself has trained, financed, and aided terror groups. And they're terrorizing everybody every single day. What His Excellency former President Mahama said, he just re echoing the feelings of majority of the people of this country. That which it, is? Which is why we live in an absolute insecurity. We live in a country where corruption, tell me, under the fourth Republican constitution, which government had allegations of corruptions against it within one year? Tell me. If you can provide me an example. Okay. So this is unprecedented. What are your expectations going forward? Of course, the president raised these issues. I mean, in Cape Coast with the people, um, there should be some expectation of what ought to be done. What is it? As in what? In terms of the 2.5 million uh, 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 dollar, not app, but the national identity. Oh no, uh, a 2.5 million Google app. By the way, this government wouldn't it's do it. Not, it's not. A this government will not do anything. Look, the, the, what are your expectations? What look, do you what do you think? Do what do you think should happen? They won't do anything. No, no, no. It's not about what they you will do. Why? It's about what you think or what you you think. What is the appropriate thing that has to be done? If you they think what has do, been done they is won't inappropriate, they do the appropriate. And I'm giving you examples why they wouldn't do no, anything. No, tell me what you think is the appropriate thing to do in this case. First and foremost, they must tell us how this contract was awarded. Okay. They must tell us in clear terms, in clear language, how did they, how did they spend that much? I listened to Joy. When we had problems with Senate IT, didn't I listen to you? Mm -hmm. Now, you guys claimed that they could have gotten the same, the same program lesser than what we got. Is it that we couldn't have gotten it lesser than we have done? So you think we could have had a, 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 a better process? Why must it cost us $2 million to buy a Google app? It is not just a Google app. It is a Google app. They, they, they've explained that it is not How? just a The explanation is not convincing. But you don't even have it. You've not even used it. So you don't even know. I have know. gone through it. I don't necessarily need to have it. How many times do you want me to say this? I have gone through it, and I'm saying that it simply doesn't make sense going through and having something. One already, I have a Google map. Okay. And by the way, the same Minister for Communication told us that government was going to be spending paying $400,000, isn't it? You no, have, that's not, hold that's, on, but hold that's, on, hold on. You have a deputy minister who says right. no. Contradiction. They are even confused. I'm saying that what we are having under this government is what we never bargained for. Okay. And the people of this country will demonstrate to this president and this government that we made a very big mistake in giving you the mandate. They simply cannot govern. They, the center simply can no longer hold. And perhaps His Excellency the President is not in charge. That will be your final words? Absolutely. I see. My final words are that you know and I know, everybody knows that we live in a country of absolute insecurity, that you have terror groups that are trained finance aided by the Flagstaff House, that even Nanka Bruce at the seat of the president was beaten, nothing is being done, under the watch of a president whose 
entire legal practice. He's older than my entire age. Yet, we see nothing happening. A government who claimed that he was, was going to protect okay. the public purse, the public purse is actually being sent to the market. I think that that's, a point. Can that's, a, point, that's a point you've already made. And if I should allow you to go on, I'm sure you can go on and on and on without end. It's been a while, by the way. Uh, you've just been listening to the uh, former uh, Deputy Information Minister, Mutala And I listened Mohammed to my there. good friend, Kojo, this morning. Okay. And you know the bit that I was laughing whilst I was driving for a program? That His Excellency, the former president, saw him and said, when they introduced him to him, he said, Okujo Chinchinga. I see. I, I like the, the lighter part. He's a fine gentleman, very brilliant guy. <laughs> okay. We'll end the conversation here. But we certainly should invite you another day. Uh, maybe bring you uh, someone who, who will bring you uh, close to your meter. Oh, so yeah. That but we can I, have I, a very I wouldn't nice prefer a substandard person because this government is probably substandard. All right. That's